everybody welcome back to crochet by landry and in this video we're just gonna i'm just gonna update you and all the things i've made since last week and just talk about the different things i've added to the inventory and also uh talk about my market that's happening on uh tomorrow which is saturday so grab a whip something to work on or grab a cup of coffee and just sit back and watch and let's get started talking about some of the things I've added to my inventory. Some of the new things I've added to my inventory are, I have some of the items here with me and then if, and if I don't have the item, I'm, I'll just uh, put a picture up on the screen so you can see. So first item I made is my little cow friend here. And I'll put all the links to the patterns I found in the description box down below. And so in case you want to go and find uh, the pattern to buy it from that from the maker, then you can. So I made this little cow and he's not quite done yet. He's supposed to have a, a bag or something with him. But I thought he was pretty cute. And I'm going to make about, I don't know, about three or four more of these. Just in case there's a popular take on cows tomorrow. And I thought he was fun. So put him over here and then I made this wonderful cute and adorable little butterfly and again I'll put the pattern links down below and the yarn I used for most of the projects are the sweet snuggles from Michaels and the ball the, the ball of yarn is relatively $11.99 before taxes so if you wanted to go and check out that yarn it is very soft and very squishy and plushy and it, I, I find it really great for the plushies that I make. So I made this little butterfly and she's very cute. And I thought I'd make maybe one more of her just to see if there's some little girl or little, little kid out there who wants a butterfly friend. And then I made two of these guys. I made two clownfish friends. One in blue and one in a like a peach color almost. And the safety eyes I have here, I got those off AliExpress. And I'll put the link down below in case you want to go and check them out and get some for yourself. But these guys didn't take me very long. The cow, I want to say he took me about an hour. The butterfly was about the same. Um, and the fish here, maybe about 45 minutes, give or take. Um, that's obviously stopping to add the eyes uh, between change, color changes and adding the stuffing and all that and sewing all the pieces on. So they were relatively simple to make and the pattern was relatively easy to follow for all of the plushies I made. So put these guys there. And then I made my big friend here. This is the iguana I made. He's huge. He's about 33 inches long. I don't think he was supposed to be this big, but I used a bigger yarn and a bigger hook to get a bigger size just because I thought it was funny. And again, I'll put the links down below of all the patterns I found today, found and I'm talking about today, so you can go and check them out. Um, and the pattern, the items I don't have here are, I made some jellyfish as well. And again, I use the sweet snuggles for most of the plushies because it's very soft and it's relatively easy to work with. Um, I made some octopus, octopi. I made some. Uh, small dinosaurs and I also made some larger dinosaurs and again I'll throw the picture up on the screen so you can see and they were really cute and really simple to make and I'll add all the links down below and uh, so the market I'm being a part of tomorrow is at a little town about 45 minutes from here and it's supposed to be a big summer festival and there'll be over 60 vendors there I'll take some clips uh, while I'm there tomorrow so you can kind of see what the crowd looks like and what all the tents and booths out look like and maybe I'll get a couple of shots of the of the, the walking down the strip of where it is down the street so you can see and I'll use them in my next video so you can check it out and see what, what it's like and also for this market that I have going on tomorrow I am gonna have a bit of, an extra pair of hands I'm bringing my husband with me so he can kind of help man the booth and uh, take me take over for me if I have to go to the bathroom or go get a snack um but the market's gonna be from like 10 to 3 so I'll have a good chunk of time um to even sit down and uh take a minute and make a few more things in case I hypothetically run out 
but we won't know until I get there in the morning and it's going to be an early morning that day. So maybe I'll take you with me when I get up after the car has been packed and whatnot. And once we're driving, I'll take you with me and on a little journey to the biggest market I've done so far. So that's it for today, everybody. Um, don't forget to leave a like uh, and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment down below of things you've seen or if there's something you'd like to see me make for a future market. I've got a couple more coming up. So leave a comment. And if not, I'll see you next Friday where we do a tutorial on something I found. And we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye. Thank you.